books have a long history and many of us grew up reading all of these superhero comic books but have you ever thought of creating your own comic book yes it's a hard job but it is possible with ai however if you're using mid journey or stable diffusion you will face a challenge of making consistent characters but in this video i'm going to show you a free ai tool that can make a complete comic book with consistent characters so without any further ado let's dive into the video so the tool that we're going to use today is called comic ai so first of all head over to the comicai.ai and this is their website and now if i scroll down you can see you can create your own story you can even create your own personalized character so we're going to do all of these things so first of all simply click on this start for free and now just sign up with your google account and on the daily basis you will get 99 credits for free and on the first sign up you get 1200 credits so right now you can see i have a lot of credits so here you can see we have two options comic and character library so in the character library you can train your own character based on your images so we're going to do this uh, later in the video so first of all i'm going to show you how to create your comic book first simply click on this comics and now select start creating so in the content section you have to describe your story and you also have the option to upload your txt or pdf file so let's say you just have an idea of a story not a complete story you can simply click on this a generation and here simply describe an idea of your story so let's say i'm going to type a samurai that lives in jungle fighting for his family and now simply click generate and now you can see it generated a whole story for us so i'm going to simply copy this one and paste this in a content section and now simply hit this next button So here you can see it automatically generated the characters based on our story. You can see it even entered the name in the name section and it described the whole appearance of this character. So let's say if you want to change the appearance of your character, so simply go to the appearance section and here you can add things uh, if you want to change something. So let's say we don't want this the last part, so I'm going to simply delete this part and regenerate my character. So here we have our character and you have one more option so if you have trained your own character you can simply click on this folder and you can even upload your own characters so right now i don't have any characters but we will try this feature in a while and i'm going to show you how to train your own characters so for now i will simply hit next button so here you can see it automatically generated few images according to our scene and it automatically added all of these panels so sometimes it can generate some irrelevant images according to the story so if this happens you can manually change the things in the image description so let's say you want to add kanji protecting his family with sword in a village and now simply hit regenerate and here we have the image now you can see we have that village we have that same character so the one thing that you will notice in all of these images that we have the same character and in all of these images where the story tells about the kanji we have that same character in all of these images right so that's a good thing about this ai tool and let's see if you want to change the pose of your character you also have that option so simply click on this preset icon and here we have some presets so let's say i'm going to select this one and now i character is posing like this so i'm going to simply hit next button and now you can create pages and simply drag and drop your images according to your story and you can also add text in it you can change the font style you can add that text bubbles in your images and each and everything is customizable here and you can even add these templates to maintain the look of your comic book right now let's talk about training our own personalized character For that simply go to the character library on the main page of comic ai and here you have to click on this add character so here we have to upload the images of our character so simply name your character so let's say i'm going to name it jake and uh, you have to upload at least 10 to 30 images and they also instructed how your images should be look like so i'm going to upload the images of my character so i have selected almost 10 to 12 images with different poses with different lighting condition now simply hit start training okay so finally our character has been trained so i'm going to click on that and uh, these are the few images that we used to train our character and i just changed the name of my character and named it dali i don't know why and uh, this is the final character output so let's use this in our generations so i'm going to go to the comic and click on the start creating a new one So I'm going to skip all of this process and in the character section now I'm going to select this folder and select my generated character right so confirm this one now you don't have to describe the appearance of your character because we already generated our personalized character 
so I'm gonna simply click on this next button now here simply at the description of your image so let's say I'm gonna type Dolly is screaming loudly so this is the output image and now you can see our character is kind of screaming so you can do whatever you want to because we have our character and you can create the multiple characters you can train multiple characters and train multiple images well they do have a premium plan so if you want to upgrade to their premium plan but it's worth buying because you will get a lot of new features with a lot of credits so that's how you guys can create your whole comic book with free AI tool and make a complete comic book with a consistent characters so that's it from this video I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.